This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by GoToMeeting. Last week we talked about rooting your Android phone, but we didn't go into too much detail about what you can actually do with this newfound power. So here to help me list off some of the best Android apps that require root access is Techzilla's AP, Michael Hand. Welcome. Hello. And what do you have for us today? I have five cool apps that, well, six, but five. <laughs> it's <laughs> a top five, but I really have six. All right, so first I'm gonna talk gaming controllers. Cool. So, a lot of controllers, like the PS3 controller, the Wii, um, or there's dedicated controllers like this MOGA controller, those all operate off of Bluetooth. The problem with this is that with this, games have to specifically include support for this specific controller. Oh, uh, there's like like a there's not a universal Bluetooth stack driver or something for all the universal uh, for all the Bluetooth available controllers that are out there. There is, but you have to be rooted. Oh, so. Okay. With this, there's a thing called the MOGA Universal Driver that it lets you, once you have it all set up, you can actually control all system-wide your phone. So you can use this for any sort of input. So oh. if you go, so you see full on interface the screen, control like you're doing right there. Yeah, I'm using the controller to control this. And then the nice thing about that is that once you have it set up, then you can use it inside of any game and you're controlling the game with this controller that isn't supposed to work with this application. Pretty cool. Could you, can you actually get in and out of an app using just the controller? Uh, or would that be just software dependent at this point? If, if I had the key mapping right, I could map one of these things to go home. So Perfect. you could do pretty much anything with it. That's pretty cool. I so, like that. So in a sense that once you root it, you're opening up the Bluetooth abilities of the phone to just about any device you want. Exactly. Uh, I've really been trying to get our producer, Roger, to root his phone because he's always complaining that he wants to play ROMs with his phone, but he can't do it. He that, even bought a PS3 controller to do it, but he won't root his phone. Well, that's what got me started, too. I actually hooked up the PS3 controller at home uh, using what they call the 6-axis controller app, which made it simple as can be. Uh, I haven't had a chance to actually try out any games with it yet, but the setup was really as simple as adding the app, running it, and connecting it to one of my specific controllers from my PlayStation 3. Uh, about as simple and easy as it gets. Uh, wh what's next? All right, so the next application w I just found recently when I was trying to come up with like an air display clone for Android. And this is actually what I'm using for our laptop to get a signal from the phone. It's called MirrorOp. And basically, it just mirrors the phone's display to a laptop. Nice. Um, so I thought it was, so, see. So like you do with AirPlay on an iOS device with, say, to an Apple TV, where you can literally clone the display to that display and have it in your living room or on a larger display, you exactly. can do this in a similar way with, a, yeah. with an Android device. So there's a little lag with it, but I thought this was, OK, it's cool, but it's just a clone of Air Display until on the, soft, the Windows software, it's called mirror op receiver, but I accidentally found out that you can actually control the phone with the software. That's so pretty it's slick. two way. So this would make a great way to do demonstrations too as well on the phone itself without actually maybe you have the phone in a separate place and still maintaining control of it through the PC itself. Not just a receiver but transmitting controls as well. Pretty yeah, cool. I thought that was great. Very nice. All right so next up is Firewalls, pretty much. Okay. So I'm thinking AF Wall Plus or Droid Wall, which AF Wall Plus is a fork of. These are just little applications that let you limit which apps can actually go out to the internet. Oh, nice. Um, so I just like having the peace of mind. Actually, I tweeted this out asking everyone what their favorite Android apps were, and um, at Replica900 suggested Droid Wall, and he put it really well. He said, it's nice having the peace of mind knowing what does and doesn't have access to the outside world, um, which is, yeah. That's it, handy, especially if you're running experimental software or you're really just tearing into everything you can on an Android device without, without, a, without a, you know, a verified software source, perhaps. This would be a good way to say restrict what apps are doing where and, uh, and what can touch the internet or not. Yeah, so you can see on the screen here, this is kind of what it has that you can choose which services, so if you want it to only be able to go on Wi-Fi or only on 3G, you can select that and then you can apply from there. Very cool. Yep. Very nice. What's up next? Next, just a file, file explorer that has root access. So this is really cool for doing just little things that you usually can't do. So say you forgot your Wi-Fi password. There's 
a stored, it's kind of, it's not encrypted, but there's a stored in a usually inaccessible location, the Wi-Fi passwords on your phone. Gotcha. You can get access to that if you have a root explorer. And you know where to look. <laughs> and you know where to look. Or um, <laughs> I've done this in the past where I change a setting file on the phone so that other applications think that my phone's a different phone. So I use that for Dropbox to get extra storage space. Nice. I don't know. So there's some nefarious uses there, but yeah. uh, basically it gives you a way to do full file access to the phone itself. So mm -hmm. be it dev use or for you know for experimenting with various software setups. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you need that. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. So I mentioned that I tweeted this out, and titanium backup was the overwhelming response from Twitter. So this is, gives you a way to automate backups, backup pretty much backup or restore any of your applications. Handy. And um, a must if you're going to be messing around with you know different ROMs, different software packages. It's nice to be able to back up that full load right from the beginning. Yeah, so beyond backing up, you can also freeze apps, which leaves the application on your phone, but it's kind of just, it doesn't show up anymore. It's just like, so that's good for bloatware um, that your carrier ha has nice. on there. It's like putting an app on pause. Yeah, pretty sense. much. Or you can uninstall if you know you're never going to need that again. Nice. Um, I like that. Other cool things, if you're running custom ROMs and you have a Nandroid backup, which is just like a complete backup of your phone. Nandroid? Nandroid. N-A-N-D-R-O-I-D? Yes. Okay. Um, which is built into most custom recoveries. You can do a backup with it. Cool deal. With that, you can actually reach into that full backup of your phone and pull, selectively pull out different applications from that. That sounds like it's a step up from what I use. I use ROM Manager, an app on my mm. phone, to handle my ROM management, but it also provides a backup function as well. Uh, one of the nice things about that is it actually provides a web server that I can actually connect to over a web browser that's on my local network and then control the backup process through that, which is pretty handy. But I don't have a way, I don't believe, to go in and individually pick out specific apps from my backup file, which can be a couple of gigabytes in size. Yeah, so that's really cool. Um, nice. So that was technically five, but I did get a tweet <laughs> this morning from at Eric and Hitterdahl that um, he mentioned Desploit, which I haven't had a chance to check out yet, but it's pretty much a mobile security and exploit application, so you can do... You can test the security of the networks around you. I'll, I'll put it at that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds pretty darn cool. This is awesome stuff. And uh, I'm sure plenty of viewers are now busy trying to root their Android phones. At least you should be, if for nothing else, is to create a good backup and to maybe get rid of some of the bundled apps that you might be annoyed with. And uh, Michael, thank you very much. I appreciate no problem. It. Thanks for having me. And now it's time to thank one of our sponsors. When your entire team can get together, it's amazing what can get accomplished. Projects that takes weeks or decisions that usually take days done almost instantaneously, right then, right there. But gathering everyone together from different locations can be time consuming, expensive, and sometimes flat out impossible. That's why you should be checking out GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It makes it easy for your entire team to get together online. With GoToMeeting, you share the same screen, so you stay on the same page, keeping everybody focused. And the built-in HD video conference Conferencing makes your online meetings feel just like being in the same room. Plus, it's simple to launch and join a meeting from anywhere using your computer, smartphone, or tablet. You can even present from an iPad. Can't wait to start saving time and money at your company? You can try GoToMeeting today for free. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code TechZilla. Hey, do us a favor, use the promo code TechZilla, and check out GoToMeeting.com.